<laughs> oh god, <laughs> I just snorted. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, in theory, this is lesson two, but you know what? There wasn't much in lesson one. I think you'd be you have done it all quite quickly. So let's have a look at this one that was a continuation of lesson one. So it says a particle is said to be static in static equilibrium when it's acted upon by two or more forces and motion does not take place. So what I'm saying is that up is equal to down, left is equal to right. Or up take down is equal to zero. So I could say that up is equal to down. Or I could say that up take down is equal to zero. In the same way, I could say left is equal to right, or left take right is equal to zero. If I use F equals MA, that kind of favours the up minus down is zero, and the left minus right is zero. But they're just rearrangements, so it's all fine. So what does it say? Draw it, resolve it, work out the sum of it, and then solve it if there's any unknowns. Right, so let's have a look at this then. Oops, wrong page. So it says, a diagram shows a particle in equilibrium. Uh, find the magnitudes of P and Q. Right then, so let's look. Uh, should we do horizontal first? So horizontal. I'm going to use F equals MA. But my acceleration is zero because it's in equilibrium. So I'm going to look horizontally. So I'm saying that left minus right is equal to zero because mass times zero is zero. So what have I got going left? So left, if I do it in blue, left is this force here, which would be a Q cos 55. There's no other forces going left, so let's look what's going right. So right, so I'm going the other way, is what have we got? So it's P cos 40, and that's equal to zero. Yeah. And then let's look vertically. So vertically, assuming acceleration is zero. So if I use F equals MA, so I'm saying up, take, down is zero. So I'll do this with the red, I guess. So up is that one, which is Q sine 55. Q sine 55. Up is this one, which is P sine 40. So plus P sine 40. Have I got anything going down? And yes, I have. I've got a 2. That's a minus 2. That's the only other force going down. That gives me a 0. Uh, let's have a look here. Two, three. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, I missed that little sneaky one there. So that's actually... There's going to be... Because that's going up, isn't it? Uh, so there'll be an extra going up. Can we sneak a one at the front here? There. Sorry about that. Right then. So what am I going to do? I'm going to solve. How can I do this? I can just re. I can put P or Q first. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I'm going to have a minus. Cos 40, lots of P, plus cos 55, lots of Q, is equal to zero. So I can put the minus cos 40 in and the plus cos 55 into my solver, into simul. And then I've got sine 40 P, sine 55 Q, so I've got a minus 1, take it over is equal to 1. So I can put the sine 40 in and the sine 55 in, and the 0 in the 1. And I've put that into poly, it gets me out as P as 0.58 newtons, and Q as 0.77 newtons there. Right, we're getting quite towards the end of the 5 minutes, so I'll stop there. But are we okay with that one? So up equal, up minus down is 0, left minus right is 0. And it's going to run out now.